Stellar, a dedouble, rest in perfect peace. Honestly, I would say in, in a straight language that Nigerian government has a lot to do in this regard. Nigerian government has failed to do the right thing because government is a continuous. For a, a woman to sacrifice his life for the sake of others. I'm sorry to say, many of our, uh, I would say, angels that we worship today, this is, this is the element of what they give to, to us, to sacrifice their life because of sorrow. This woman of the Blessed Memory, knows the implication of what is doing, but is ready to die for other Nigerians to be safe. In fact, not the immortalization alone. His children even deserve giving a scholarship to the any level of their education. First thing to know is that the case of uh, Stella and Adeva and her colleagues uh, in confronting the Ebola epidemic uh, they saved millions of lives, I would say, because Nigeria is a highly populated country and uh, parts of Lagos are also densely populated uh, so that if it had not been contained within a particular location at that time, it could have spread very easily and uh, only God knows what the consequences would have been. There should be a major, a very high national honor for Stella and Adebo. As a representation, that we recognize the struggles Nigerians put up against Ebola. Third, I think that a national monument, you know, should be named after Stella. So that as people drive by, go by there, it appears, they see the pictures, they see if it's a building, if it's a stadium, if it's a hospital, even if it is a wing in a hospital, it should be named after Stella. You see, it's a very beautiful thing. Our country has this attitude of not rewarding hard work, we rather will punish hard work. Most of you would have worked and died for this country. Sometimes you can make us wonder if the essence of being patriotic is the heart of this lady went, put her life on the line for the life of others. The least what we will do is at least give her a pleasure. That is what she deserves, in death or in life. There are those that are alive now that have done well for this country and they're not being rewarded. Which is the easy reason why it's so easy for you to find pensioners who are alive not being paid their pension. It's a very sad thing. Until we accept that people that do well should be rewarded and those that do bad should be punished. We can't really have a good moral for our people. I think that for some reason, even if it's for example, say, this woman should be honored in such a way that other people will be encouraged to work for this country. Okay. Currently I'm on that position going around. For signatures, the thousands of Nigerians calling on the federal government to do to convey a posthumous national honors award on Dr. Dadu. I personally have signed this petition. Our organization have endorsed this noble campaign. I just want to encourage all of you also to join because the one we are marine medical and health practitioner as the core of achieving a universal, healthy and prosperous Nigeria. Thank you very much and good morning.
I recall in 2014, as a member of the Nigerian House of Representatives, we did uh, pass a motion on the floor of the House. Um, immediately the incident took place and urged government to take certain steps in immortalizing uh, Dr. Mrs. Sandy Devon. That nothing has been done up to now uh, cause for a lot of concern. And I want to urge and join all the voices that are calling for the recognition, national recognition in honor of this great heroine of our nation who have made so much sacrifices. We are calling on government, we are urging government to do something in memory of uh, Dr. Atadewo. Name something after her, give a holiday in her name, something, anything to ensure that her memory is not lost. Our prayer is that the government of Nigeria will see heroism in what this woman has done and uh, establish something in her memory so that people will be true compatriots in Nigeria. People who will be ready to give their lives for their nation, like some people in other nations of the world. They are ready to give their lives for the sake of their nation. We should carry Nigeria to that level. And uh, it will reach that level if we in the society and our government will recognize people who have made such heroic sacrifices like Dr. Adadevo. I do really pray that the government of Nigeria will look in that direction. I remember the story very well. I'm a senior official in ECOWAS. Patrick Sawyer was the head of the national unit of ECOWAS in Liberia. The meeting we were supposed to attend was in an annual retreat of the heads of national unit in Calabar, involving the leadership of ECOWAS. If he had gone to Calabar, we were asking ourselves question, what would have happened? Because it would have affected the entire leadership of ECOWAS, that time, senior officials, and also heads of national unit from other countries. And you can imagine the, 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 re, the ripple effect of that. So we actually commended, we appreciated the effort of the medical team in Nigeria for safeguarding public interest. There is a National Honors Act of 1964 that stipulates what category of awards are given to who based on the, what they have contributed to the country, or to their community, or to their state, or to humanity. And we have not got that here. Dr. Dava has not got that. Over five years she's, she's, she's gone. The Nigerian government has not officially put her in the annals of time through the law that will make her name and others like her to be gazetted. And once she has gazetted, the Ministry of Education can now start even pushing out things that will have to do with her and her heroism in the curriculum for students, pupils to learn about. As I'm talking to you right now, university students, I was at BUK and I was asking students there, do you know that Dr. Dava is, who is that? This is just five years, five years ago. Ten years from now, twenty years from now, nobody will, might remember her. And that is why we are fighting that she should be given the national honors in accordance with the National Honors Act of 1964. Okay. Parents, spouses, children, follow the God wherever they are. We pray that the light of your face will shine upon them in Jesus' name. Amen. We have lit these candles to pray that darkness will not cover their lives in Jesus' name. Amen. We are lit lifting this candle to say that the heroic effort of Dr. Adadem will not be in vain. Yeah. But that all those who mourn her will be comforted by the light that will shine in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.